Hello everyone, I'm your host, Great Ben, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Stories 2. Uh, we need to go meet up with Roberto so that we can continue with the story. Yeah, I did. Okay. Enter the, uh, desert area. Ooh, I'm winning the race, NPC. Oh no, the NPC won. Dang it. Ooh, Lamer. This is a pretty cool area. Ooh, I saw a rare monster down. Our Jade Barrow just does just does not fit the area. Okay. Haha, <laughs> look at stinky little Roberto running around without a monsty. <laughs> what a loser, bro. I'm sorry if I was mean, Roberto. I love you. Platonically, of course. A monster's been causing a ruckus in this area. Oh, really? It's not a local creature, but it's been seen going totally crazy on several occasions. Allegedly. How did he get that rock again? He's an earthbender. Allegedly? What do you mean? What do you mean? Well, I've never laid eyes on it myself, but if we wait long enough, it's bound to turn up. Yeah, it's bound to turn up. Hey, dudes, look! There's fungus among us! Oh, oh, fungus among us? Hold on, I have to turn on the light before I continue this bit. He, did he say among us? <gasps> Whoa! I'm glad you're happy. Who cares about mushrooms? We're concerned about Rafa. Who cares about Rafa versus mushrooms? Navi, get your priorities you straight. Much, bro. Yeah. Time's a wasting. Find us this monster so we can prove our strength and get Rafa back. Yeah, we we just look. I, I all I care about is the mushrooms now. Cool it for a sec. First. We need to learn more about what we're after. That's basic stuff for us hunters. Yeah, true. I'm a hunter. My buddy here is a writer, though. We have our own way of doing things. Yeah, I guess. You just don't get it, dude. Dude. Try using your noggin for a nanosecond. It's you who doesn't get it. Why is Naviru so mad at the chill, dude? See now why it's impossible for riders and hunters to get along. <laughs> Just chill for a minute. Deep breaths. Look at all these beautiful shrooms. <laughs> Look at all these beautiful shrooms, dude. Dude, I just love these beautiful shrooms, dude. Rock on, man. You're telling me to calm down? I feel so betrayed. Even Lilia won't trust us. Eh. The Scriveners just see things differently than hunters or riders. That doesn't mean Lily is not your bro, though. True. Doesn't seem that way to me. Hey, see those shrooms over there? <laughs> Back to the shrooms once again. Enough! What's with your mushroom fixation? They're just so good. Just take a look. Lots of them are growing in this area. Any idea why? I don't know. What does that have to do with monsters? Uh huh. Huh? But wait, that is a lot of mushrooms. That is a lot of mushrooms. A total of editor, count them up and then put the number on screen while I fix my chair. Okay, did you do it? Cool. Hmm. I do remember hearing where there's a mushroom, there's a monster. I'm, I was never taught this lesson in Monster Hunter. Who's, who said this? Yeah. So your head's not completely full of fur after all. <laughs> Hunters learn to tell what monsters are in the area based on the habitat. Yeah, man. Oh, I see. So by looking at plants and fungi and stuff, we can track the monsters down. So, so basically, world. This is this is world. Now you get it? 
I wasn't just looking at mushrooms. I was searching for clues. But I was also looking at mushrooms. This bro's got brains, am I right? Yes, sir. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> what the heck? Why'd you just gotta leave Roberto up and dry? Buddy, you can bet that at anywhere there's a load of... Ah! Buddy, you can bet that at anywhere there's a load of... I can't speak. Buddy, you can bet anywhere there's loads of mushrooms, there'll be a monster looking to eat them. Hey, now that you mentioned it, I'm pretty sure the Western Heights is covered in shrooms. Paul right, let's get ourselves to the Western Heights, then. Let's go, dude. Dude, whoa, no. That's a hermitar, dude. Normal hermitar, dude. I want to, I don't want to Oh, now there's a daimyo hermitar here, dude. What the heck, dude? Oh, yay. Little bum dot, I didn't see Roberto's, um, thing, but whatever. That was a breeze. Yeah, dude. Why is there just free? <gasps> is that a, oh, it's not a rare done. The sand tricked me. How dare you, sand? I thought we were friends. I guess not. Tons of shrooms, but no monsters. Where should we look next? Next? Uh, yeah. Pretty sure I spotted some shrooms over by the Northern Heights. You sure about that, Roberto? Starting to sound like you're just making it up as you go. Where is the Northern Heights? Where is this Northern Heights? Give me a break. Have I ever been wrong before? It's at the top of that rocky mountain to the north. Well, buddy, looks like we're gonna have to trust Roberto on this one. Let's head over to the Northern Heights. Okie doke. The Northern Heights is just up ahead. Wow, with so many shrooms around here, they've... They've got to be monsters somewhere nearby. They've got to be somewhere... They've got to be monsters nearby. Oh yeah, I can ground dive. Should I ground dive? Let's ground dive. <laughs> ah! Flying wyvern stimulant. Oh, well, I can't fly. Dude, I'm just a regular old shroom enjoyer. Well, if the mushrooms let us this far, there's bound to be some monsters around here. Over there, buddy. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a Plesioff. Oh, God. Be prepared for punishing hitboxes. Let's get this party started. Plesioff bites can put you to sleep, so watch out for that. Let's hurry up and get this over with, buddy. Let's swap out over to my ice crest, dude. I'm a child. <laughs> what was that? It was just like... Ah! Did it, like, stand up? Hmm. Aqua Jet? That's a Pokemon move. Oh! Oh! How can a jet of water be that strong? An attack like that could probably split a rock split a rock in half. No, Roberto! Yay, Roberto! Bunk. Ooh, level three. Let's see what Roberto's um Hunter art looks like. Better look cool, dude. Dragon Tremor Slash? That's cool. That is cool. I like that. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Oh. He's tired. Eh. Jeez. That's not a Pokemon move. That's a killing thing. Bonk. Are you enraged? 
No, you're not. Okay, so I'll just... Yeah, there we go. Divine Blessing skill activated. Run through? Yeah. Oh, hey, he's using a mega potion on me. Thanks, Roberto. How very, very kind of you. Well, okay, I, I needed it. <laughs> Yay! That makes one more win for us. How's that for skills, Roberto? Not bad. You might have what it takes after all. Alright, dude. Nice. Amber and legs are at level 20. They're catching up. Frost strike. Fuzzy off scale and such. Uh, I remember in the um, first game, you could find Plezzy off scales. But not actually fight Plezzy off. Oh, okay, it's just dead. Victory achieved. Now Lilia won't be able to brush us off like some amateurs. Yeah. <laughs> Buddy, you okay? I still want to know how Navaru gets that rock. Is he like actually an Earthbender? <laughs> Any ideas why uh, Plesioth showed up? Um, no, no ideas. Look, my buddy isn't some kind of Plesioth mind reader. <laughs> it doesn't take mind reading to answer the question, dude. Dude. Maybe he just wanted to... I thought you writers were supposed to understand monsters on some deeper level, right? Maybe, look, maybe the Plesioth just wanted to, um, have a nice holiday in, um, Lemur, but then we just came around and killed it. Say, that's not much of a hint. If you don't know the answer, how can you prove you've got the goods as a rider? Maybe it'll dawn on you later. Yeah, it did. Okay, on to the next one. Yeah, it did. Wait, we're not done yet. No, it did. That's right. Let's boogie. That's boogie, did. Just a minute, Veriverto. Where do you think you're going, and and why did that Plesioff show up? Once we get to the desert cave, you'll understand. So stop with the questions and let's go. Get going already. Let's get going already. Reverto the mentor. On to the desert cave, did desert cave, did. God, I should stop. I'm gonna lose viewers by doing that. Okay. <sighs> the Desert Cave, a cave that is located in the desert. Quite peculiar, if you ask me. I thought when a monster appeared. Oh, are we fine? Are we here? Is this where we want to be? Roberto, spill the beans. Why did a Plesioth appear in the Baron? Good question. Be patient, and you'll find out soon enough. Yeah, dude. Does a Plesioth have something to do with the desert? No, don't they usually hang out in swamps or the jungle? Want to chill it with the questions? The answer is there if you listen to the monsters. Okay. Listen to the monsters? Yeah, didn't he say about something about that last game, but Navi just wasn't listening because he was doing something? Or he was Look, asleep? I know they don't actually speak yeah it did but it's possible to find out why they came somewhere and what's making them act all weird yeah if you pay attention to them is what i'm saying yeah just pay attention old red could hear the voices of monsters though red who's that uh he's the protagonist from the first pokemon game my buddy's grandpa he was a genius rider and my friend here has definitely inherited that. Yes, I do ride. Red, I feel like I've heard that name before. He, well, he was Pokemon, and people know about Pokemon, so. What's gotten into you? And what's with that face? Yes, what is inside you? 
Mm. I hope organs, because if you don't have organs, that would be concerning. Hmm? Hmm? Do you mean like V red? V -red? Yeah, dude. You, you, you knew him? Maybe. I don't know. No, dude. Only the name. He's known amongst hunters as a pretty radical rider. Yeah, dude. Wowza, buddy. Even hunters know about your grandpa. Yeah. So your Gramps was red. The far out rider who could vibe with monsters. <sighs> <laughs> In that case, you better up your game, kid. Okay. Okay. Let's go see if you figured out the answer. Okie doke. A nest. Huh? There's no monster in this den. Betcha a shiny zenny is around here somewhere. Don't let your guard down, okay? Hold on. Wait. R really? This is... This is why we're here? Oh. Oh! A, a cephadrome? Ambush. Oh, ambush. Okay, everyone be cool. We can take them. Speed attack. Okay. That just saves me the trouble of figuring it out. Just as I thought. This cave's waterway would make the perfect habitat for a plesia. This is no time to make field notes. We've got to fight. This is my bow. That's it, dude. Round dive. That's why we needed the sonic bombs. Cephatron move through sand like they're swimming in water. Their eyes are no good, so they use sound to hunt down prey. Sound, huh? What do you say we put a little show for for this thing, huh? What do you say we put on a little show for this thing, then? Taunt. I... Will that work? Oh, okay, so we had to use the um, sonic bomb. You can't hit this monster while it's on the ground. Make a noise. Okay. Sonic bombs. Nice one, buddy. Now hit it with everything you've got. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. Stop! Let's do this. Great. Now I'm gonna be paralyzed. Oh. And I lost my charge too. That sucks, man. Oh no, wait, I didn't. Cool. Still, that sucks. Uh. Oh, I'm not paralyzed. Uh, okay. Oh my god, shut up. It's like it's got back up. Watch out. Ooh. Do we. Yeah, let's do the. the uh, Devil kinship skill. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> he has his little wing drake. That's cool. Okay. That's cool, I guess. like the monsters chilled out now so did you figure anything out yeah yeah I think we did we're a little closer to the truth now anyhow that, that wasn't really that that I didn't really like that though that just that felt basic I don't 
No, I know. And it's there's just a corpse. The reason there was a Plesioth in the Barrens was the Cephadrome? Because it was taking up the little area here. Correct, Amundo. The Cephadrome yeah. drove the Plesioth out of its territory. Okay. In its usual habitat, the Plesioth wouldn't have troubled us. Okay. You're making me feel sorry for it. Ah, whatever. It's the natural order of things. We're all just trying to survive. Yeah, dude. It's necessary for survival? Yeah, dude. Monsters compete for territory, dude. Then they devour one another to satisfy hunger. Yeah, dude. It's just the way it is. Like it or lump it. Yes. And I like it. I do not lump it. So they attack each other simply because they want to live. Yes. Right. And it's the same with hunters. We take down monsters so that humans can survive. Yes, the natural order of things. We all take the lives of others to prolong our own. Yes. That's the truth. And there's no changing it. You just gotta roll with it. Yes. It's just my opinion, but I think we stand to gain a lot from cooperating, you know? Yes. Riders can bond with monsters. Surely you can groove with fellow humans. Yeah, just don't attack things that you don't need to. Learn that, and then maybe we yeah, will. Sure, why not? Let's work together to solve the mystery of the pits and clear Wrath of suspicion while we're at it. Yes. Let us do that. Well, let's head back for now. Yes, let us also do that. Reverto. Thanks, yeah, dude. dude! Thanks, dude! Sorry I said hunters and riders could never get along. Yeah, that was pretty... That, that was pretty, uh... That was a... You were a buzzkill. Hey, no worries. It did hurt my feelings a bit, though. <laughs> yeah! Now, assault him. Well, as an apology, I could offer you... The fine fungus specimen my buddy found earlier. That one mushroom I picked up? How totally rad of you, thanks. Seems like you got your gram smarts after all, huh? Yes. <laughs> I picked up a single mushroom. Let's see. Let's see, is that a spider? Huh? Oh, it's a bug. Oh, there's a bug on it! <laughs> is Roberto seriously scared of bugs? Mind, but Roberto gets totally grossed out by bugs. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Man, that was not cool. Come on, let's hurry back to the Scrivenger's Lodge. I know this will convince Lilia though. Let's get an egg and head to the Scrivenger's Lodge. It's time to get Rava back. Shouldn't we clear his name first? Okay. Yeah, only Cephadrome. Okay. First forge weapons. Okay, so what is this? Plesia. So, the wary fin sword. It's worse than my thing, but it has sleep, but I don't care. The Plesia water cutter. Ooh. That looks cool. Oh yeah, also, um, Daimyo Hermitarf stuff. Ooh. That's cool, but I prefer this. That definitely looks cool. <laughs> okay! <laughs> I mean, it is what it says it is. It's just a Plesioff head on a stick. That's, uh... That's at least um at least it's accurate. <laughs> um, oh yeah, Vachel Castanet. Mm. Eh. No new bows. Oh no, Damio's war bow. Eh. The Marine Fisher. Yes. Oh no. 
Plus off material. Okay. Okay. Oh. Um. Aha. Uh -huh. No. No. It's worse than the armor I have right now. Nope. Oh, where is it? Is there anything else? Oh, suffer strong armor. Mm. Nah, same as the stuff I'm already wearing. Um, I'd say really the only thing I do want is the plezzy off head, just because it's so amusing. What do you what what does this child look like as baby? Ah So they just quite literally hit used the resize tool Seth Well, uh, I think that's the end of today's show if you enjoyed it make sure to like subscribe all that good stuff down below and uh, Yeah I will see you all in the next video, whenever that is. Goodbye!